Nobody takes your news more seriously. It's the Idiot News Report, only on Hot 93.7. Now, here's your anchor, Kevin W. 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 Reese. Moving over to Scotland, 42-year-old teacher Derek McLone was well-known at a high school in Scotland for making up stories to get out of work. At an August 1st hearing of the General Teaching Council, McLone admitted to lying on a number of occasions in his biggest fabrication. The music teacher told school officials that he had just run over a little girl with his car. On another occasion, McLone said McLone called from his home claiming he was stuck in a volcanic ash cloud in Iceland. At the council, McLone took heat not only for his lies, but for his reaction to being reported. After discovering that some of his colleagues had made statements about his conduct, he went on a drunken rant on Facebook. In Arkansas, a bull in the mood for love damaged an Arkansas sheriff's patrol car when it tried to mount a man who was leading the animal across a yard. Authorities said Wednesday that the police department was responding to a call about a bull running loose when he saw the man slapping and trying to guide the bull. The bull then lost interest and followed the truck down the road. The patrol car sustained minor damage, though no injuries were reported. The bull's owner says it was the animal's first escape. Moving over to New Jersey, a man was arrested at a local Home Depot Tuesday after allegedly causing a disturbance by showing up to the store dressed in a Batman-like costume. Matthew Argentar came to the store dressed in a mask, cape, and body armor, including tactical pants, elbow and arm pads, and a bulletproof vest underneath his clothing then approached shoppers in the store's parking lot, reportedly asking them if they needed help. Witnesses told the newspaper that many customers retreated to their cars upon seeing him. Moving over to Michigan, authorities say a couple got an unexpected visit from a drunken 27-year-old neighbor who wandered into their cottage and climbed into bed with them. It's reported that the man showed up in their Putnam Township bedroom around 3.30 a.m. Sunday. Police say the couple left and called 911, and that officers found the man deeply asleep with his shorts partly down. Police say the intruder said, this isn't my house, upon waking. He explained he went out drinking nearby after putting his two- and four-year-old children to sleep at his own home a few doors down. Moving to Colorado, Timothy Perez is accused of peeing on a woman after she rejected his advances. A police report obtained said Perez came up and put his arm around the woman at a bar. The woman turned around and said, um, really? At which point Perez backed off according to the report. But Perez hadn't used up all of his smooth moves. At first, the woman thought that the rejected Romeo was spilling his beer on her. But when she turned around, she discovered Perez was urinating on her leg. Perez was arrested on suspicion of harassment and public indecency. There's your idiot news report for August 4th, 2012. My name is Kevin W. Reese. Kevin W. 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 Reese.